Schink is saying Malta wins thanks to Footman. Um, of course, Footman are powerful, but like I said, if you manage to get some uh, Spastels and you can kite the Footman, you still win. Footman have a speed of 5, Spastels run with like, what, 7? So um, Daniel, unfortunately, he couldn't get the fourth outpost because of this one Ibex over here, uh, but he will still be getting triple and the field hospital placement with the market placement since there is no trade post, uh, but we'll be getting the market and the house and we'll also be able to get hunting dogs thanks to the 300 wood start with the additional coin crate as well. There it is coming in. So that is going to be quite fast for him. Fifty wood treasure there. Let's see what the treasures have been so far. Cartograph spam. Thirty coin, eighty food. Eighty oh eighty five wood. Very good for Daniel. Oh, that is going to be big for Malta. Maybe now we will see hidden OP longbows, Shinkuro says, without realizing they don't actually have a multiplier against light cavalry. Genius. Under the 30 coin. Let's give a quick look at the decks now. Oh, oh fuck Daniel. Why do you <laughs> why do you have ships? But yes, this cancer shipment over here. If uh Jay gets that it's GG. So what what's stupid about Bulgaria is uh infinite shipments that don't deplete. So if you get a red shipment, so say this five, uh, the force pastel cavalry void, your shipment is not um, depleted. Therefore, you can infinitely press that as long as you have the population. MM, I haven't figured it out yet. What do you say? I want to see if you get MM Mamluks, probably. You're still stuck on rate of fire. Well, here's a better comparison. Longbows have pretty much no HP. Spastels have a shit ton of damage. You might have rate of fire, but technically if you die early, and if you have low damage, low base damage, which your rate of fire makes up for it, but if you can't get the extra additional attacks, what's the point of having extra rate of fire? Exactly my point with Spastels, they don't have the, you know, a higher fire rate, they're just like normal Dragoons, but they hit you so hard that you forget where you were fucking born. Daniel now to complete his age up. Should be getting the 400 wood. There it is. Still waiting on the age up from this side. Where is uh, Jerry's building to age up? Oh, uh, there is the hunting lodge. But as mentioned, Bulgaria has red shipments, so as you can see this red food shipment, he can send infinitely without actually ever spending a shipment on it. So 
Seven hundred wood shipments. Ooh, back hurt it a bit. Explorer blocking his cast in a bit there. But he does get the double cast in down. You say outrage, but okay, Shink, you're, you're not thinking about every single possibility. Like, what what is the longbow going to do? Siege a town? No, your spastels are just going to outrun them, outmass them, and kill them. Like, there's nothing they can do. But uh, we do have Arbalesters coming in. Uh, strong peasants are heavy infantry. And uh, Arbalesters have a 0 0.3 multiply against heavy infantry. So he just uh, cucked himself. Daniel, what are you doing? Those aren't towers. What? Lots more arbalesters. Explorer goes down. Zero damage against the heavy infantry. But um he will definitely be pestering Jerry here. He won't be able to gather. Quick defense is now coming down once more, which means more XP. Uh, he has to garrison in the cast sense to actually fire. You do need to have at least one shipment, but if you actually send the shipment, it won't uh, take it away. So, say if I have one shipment like Daniel does, I can queue an infinite amount of the red ones. Looks like Germina will be trying to gather elsewhere because he is be being bullied out of his town. But, um... Weird. Yeah, they should fire. Was it like a shipment? Oh. Interesting. He got lied to. He thought it was towers. Okay, fair enough. You could say he wasted the shipment. Oh, but wait, Bulgaria doesn't use shipments. <laughs> Germano is H3, um, just needs a bit more coin, and uh, he'll be able to get H4. He's only 700 away from the food limit. As mentioned, Malta with zero siege ain't really helping him right now. Probably his best bet was to just rush H3, get Warhammers. Warhammers would have been quite efficient in uh, taking these down. But there it is, the coin shipment. And uh, his food is near the 2000 mark. So um, yeah, this game is about to be over uh, when the Spastels arrive. So um, Germano is actually quite close to winning this now. Daniel knows that he must prevent this coin from being gathered. There it is, Daniel hitting H3. And that is 1200 coin. That is all Germano needs. Now he just needs to finish gathering the food. But if uh, Daniel is able to actually siege down these five buildings, he can prevent uh, the age up.
just said two mortars. All right, going for falconets. This pass arrive won't work. But um, if if he's lucky, he he will be able to siege down the building that is being used to age up. But as I mentioned, Malta has no siege because they have no siege. They're struggling with uh, bringing down the sh the possible age ups. So th that's why I mentioned that war hammers could have been a good option. Why is he focusing the town center though? The interesting thing about a town center is that it's probably the most useless building for Bulgaria. But as long as he can keep Germano under the population cap, his age 4 means nothing. And uh, yep, yeah, it was from the stables, pastels are now in the game. Arbalesters do have high base damage, but Spastels with 705 HP. Arbalesters only 12 range. Spastels with the 12 range as well. So, um, yeah. Spastels will now be going towards his base. Why make hoop throwers? What, what, what do you saw hoop throwers against Bulgaria? Making all these houses on the side. Right, it's pretty much GG. As long as uh, Germano has a building to get shipments from. He's essentially trolling. He, he switched them to melee. <laughs> he could have one-shotted them with the range attacks. Um, I'd honestly say Daniel has played this quite incorrectly. Footman will also be of no use because Spastels have 40% re uh, melee resist. Contrary to that, they have 46 range attack. Boom. One Footman per volley won't be able to catch the 7 speed either. See Shink, what did I tell you? Uh, on the other hand, he does have a big mass. Um, if he can find this base, he is in danger. Getting more population, but now he has the Voivoids to make the units even more powerful. I'd say Daniel probably doesn't have the luxury to stay at base, um, but has finally found uh, Joey's side base over here. Villages every time there's a volley. Spastels have no malice against villages on range, so it's pretty easy to kill them. But uh, looks like he will be going directly towards the little base over here. 200 wood. Uh, looks like he will be converting it to a house, which means that if he beats this army and takes this castle down, he will be down for a bit. Yes, um, but the spastel count now is kind of high. Villagers getting picked off a bit. Good. Morgan Black down. KGG. 